What's up? This is David Banner again out here at Occupy LA with Transit TV. What is the most positive thing that you have got out of this environment in general? Because I feel something when I went to New York. I feel something when I'm here. It's 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 a culture. Can you explain that to the people? Yeah, um, one of the things that I'm most proud of is the Civic Engagement Committee that I helped start and we've been able to influence three pieces of legislation here at City Hall and we hope to move that forward to start affecting legislation at the county level, at the state level and at the federal level and the energy that you speak of that, that that's here is a lot of very smart people coming together um, trying to fix these problems that plague our lives economically, socially, medically um, and, and the criminal justice system that's plagued us as well and um, we're, we're here to do something we're here to take action we're here to solve those problems and what you're getting is a wide uh, range of people coming together because a wide range of people are affected by this if we could get everything that we want as the 99 percent what are like two or three things not even four or five things that we definitely want to drive home with this movement and again this is not speaking generally for the movement but you as an individual okay I mean <laughs> Uh, it, it might seem, maybe it's broad, maybe it's vague, but the truth is, bottom line, we need to end homelessness mm -hmm. in this society. It should be unacceptable to us that any human being doesn't have decent and adequate housing. In the self-proclaimed most powerful nation on earth, what is, what is something or a few things that you would want to see come out of Occupy LA? Um, what the 1% can do for me that would change everything is to be transparent about what's going on and to stop manipulating systems and, and political systems and media systems. Stop lying. Stop lying. I, I tell you, I, I just say it to you. Let's just say, hypothetically, um, you can have anything that you want. If there were three things that could be gained by Occupy right now, if the 1% the say, okay, what is it that you really want? Here it is. What would that be? All right, good stuff. Uh, first, I'd say that we need to abolish student loans. Everyone has a human right to access to health care. We need to get corporate money out of uh, our democracy. Uh, corporate personhood, anything, anything that falls under that umbrella, it's got to go. We have to establish human rights as the fundamental base of how we run our society. Mm -hmm. And anything that works against that, we need to either change or eliminate. Campaign reform education. What would you say are some of the things that really brought us to this point? Um, corporate greed, Wall Street greed and its influence on our political processes. The massive power of corporations and banks. Mm -hmm. The homes that are being foreclosed on, the fact that one in five of us lives in poverty, uh, that one in six of our children are below poverty levels. The over concentration of wealth into the hands of a few uh, while the many are going without. I think uh, what happens a lot of the times is this one percent, they create an enemy and that enemy is also uh, often false mm -hmm. but it, it's created for us to react a certain way mm -hmm. and that certain way that they want us to react benefits them and does not benefit us and we need to be a little bit more smart about what enemies we take on that they give us. It was just a couple of things that I wanted to say you know from being in Occupy New York and now Occupy LA you know, one of the things that I want to see from the people is that we start identifying who those enemies actually are. Because I think one of the things that uh, will end up happening is when you have people who have as much money as the 1% do, they can wait us out forever, infinitely. So unless we start hitting these people in the pocket, um, unless we become specific about our wants and our needs, then they'll just wait us out. There is, their children are not sleeping out here. Their children are not literally affected. You know, a lot of the people who we end up getting mad at who are, you know, what we think is wealthy are not a drop in the bucket to some of these larger corporations and the people who are really truly the 1%. Um, we have to start calling names of corporations. We have to start calling names of people. I think until that happens, you know, they'll they'll throw out a couple of people, you know, to be the sacrificial lambs, and they'll continue um, doing the same things that they've done for so many years until this generation starts having kids, and then their kids will end up forgetting about this movement because movements have a tendency of washing away. The thing that I would ask, and in, in, in no way am I a representation of the people who are sleeping out here but I am a part of that 99 percent 
I would hope that we start becoming more specific about the things that we want. Start calling these people out, start calling these corporations out, and then telling these people specifically what we want and what we need. That's David Banner. That's how I personally feel. And that was just David Banner. And I thank y'all. And I'm so proud of the people who are out here. And, um, you know, those people who may not feel that their voice is not being heard, you can come out here and donate. You can come out here and give. Just come out here for two, three hours, even if you're not able to spend the night, even if there's other situations that are in your life. An uh, hour of your time. You know, you go to a movie for an hour. Why not come out here? Because this is a real-life movie that's being shot. And this is a part of history and I think one of the most powerful things that one of the most powerful statements is that we're showing this government and governments all around the world that we won't take it anymore and so uh, the the voices in the masses and in the movement in general so your bodies here in general will be enough and I thank you and my name is David Banner